Hi everyone, welcome to Sketch Club. Have you ever had trouble getting started on a piece of artwork before? This is Artist Block. We have all had this problem before. Today we have a game to help get us through it. By rolling the dice, we have different categories that we'll select and they come together in unexpected ways. Jerry is in the gallery and she's gonna show us a piece of artwork that reminds us of this game. The title of this magnificent painting is Yosemite Valley. The artist is Albert Beardstadt. Beardstadt traveled America and sketched his landscapes firsthand. When he created his large paintings, he would often take natural features, idealize them, and combine different elements from different places that he visited. In this picture, if we look in the background, we see that there are mountains and clouds. If we look in the middle ground, we notice a valley and a beautiful field. In the foreground, he has trees and rocks. Even though these elements weren't actually all together in this particular way, when he saw them, he put them together from his imagination and now we have this beautiful painting. Now let's go back to the studio and do our own creative landscape. All right, let's go over how the game works. To get started, you're going to need a piece of paper to draw on. You will need um, a pencil to draw with, and you'll need a dice. Each person that plays the game is going to end up with their own unique landscape. And each person is going to roll the dice four times, and the dice will tell you what you're supposed to draw. The first roll that you draw will tell you what kind of landform is going to be in your landscape. The second roll is going to tell you something about the weather. Oh, I see now. The third row has some sort of plant or vegetation. That's right, Liz. Okay, your last roll is going to be some kind of a living creature. So you can see how some of these don't seem like they go together, but when you start putting them all together, it'll make a really fun landscape. Liz played this game earlier, and this is how it went. On her first roll, Liz rolled a six. So she did a wonderful drawing of an imaginary planet. Liz's second roll is going to tell um, something about the weather in her landscape and she rolled a four. So that means she was supposed to put snow. So there, there it is. I love that snow, Liz. Liz's third roll is a four. So she put some beautiful flowers in her landscape. And Liz's fourth roll was a two. So she included a turtle, which is a kind of a reptile. So this all comes together as a very imagine, imaginary landscape. And um, I would never think to put necessarily those things together, but it was lots of fun to see how, she, how you did that, Liz. I love it. I played the game too, and can you figure out what my first roll was? Yes, mine was a one, so I have mountains in the background. And then I rolled a five, so I have a lightning bolt in mine. And then I rolled, um, oh, I rolled a six because I made an imaginary plant. This plant is growing chocolate chip cookies. That's definitely that's from my imagination. And then my last roll was a six also, and I made an alien, and he's eating one of the chocolate chip cookies and drinking a glass of milk. So that was a lot of fun. And I, I, I colored mine in too with some watercolor pencils and then went over it with water, but you could use crayons or color, any kind of colored pencils. I had a lot of fun creating artwork with you guys. I have a lot of ideas now too. Thanks for joining us for this episode of Sketch Club.